and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier decade is Timeline Travelers. We're naming it that because that sounds really cool. It sounds like, um, you know, we are in a Loki uh, TV series, you know, being a Timeline Traveler. But besides that, um, it's going to be a concurrent timelines deck that has a lot of cool units that work with uh, concurrent timelines especially aloof travelers right because aloof traveler still has the amazing ability for four mana but it was just nerfed to be a generic two three well if you you know play your concurrent timelines first then play your aloof travelers now you're looking at getting a lot bigger body probably you know whenever you choose one of the ones from the four so um, that's kind of the thinking here behind the deck it's also concurrent timelines also really great with like mage seeker persuader because it grants the plus one plus one and challenger to something else like maybe you can hit like um avaros and sentry off of this and then make that a three two challenger that also draws a card um and radiant guardian again you know you get that life steal and tough with uh whichever unit you uh choose uh for radiant guardian the other thing about concurrent timelines is it only affects the first follower you play each round. So, like, we are playing a card like Mage Seeker Conservator, which is, you know, a nice card and everything, but it's not something we want to change with timelines. But you can kind of work around that, right? Like, if we have already played a timelines, we can play, like, an Aloof Traveler for our first unit and then play a Mage Seeker Conservator for the second one and it can stay that 1-1. One, one. So, remember, you can always work around it. It's not every follower you play. We do have um, iterative improvements in here to copy Aloof Traveler's... Um, or, you know, Radiant Guardian, stuff like that, especially if we don't have concurrent timelines, you know, if we haven't drawn concurrent timelines, and so we have, like, regular Loof Travelers in play, we can copy them with Iterative Improvement. Um, Flash of Brilliance looks kind of weird in here, but Fla Flash of Brilliance is awesome with Lux, because whenever you play Lux, you need to play six mana worth of spells to level up, get that final spark. Well, if you, if you just have your three spell mana, can play Lux and you have like two Flash of Brilliance, you can just go Flash of Brilliance, Flash of Brilliance, boom, now burst speed, your Lux is leveled up, you get that final spark. You know, that's that's just a really cool combo. So we got a couple of those in here. Um, and that's kind of the deck. Concurrent Timelines does also, you know, it's about playing. So the first one you play each round. And so uh, Remembrance won't be affected by it because you're summoning from Remembrance, you're not playing, so it won't be affected. All right, but let's get to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's play some Timeline Travelers, which is going to have Poppy as our other champion. Poppy Lux. As far as I know, the mobile Linux is updated. Tarek Riven. I think we'll have to send them all back. Concerted Strike seems like a really good card, though, against Tarek Riven. Maybe we'll just keep a Concerted Strike just for later on. Sending these back to look for some earlier stuff to do. Unfortunately, that Concerted Strike costs five and not six. You know, it's close. Not quite. It's my time. Oh, it looks like we're just going to be passing for now. Best draw would probably be Remembrance. These hands and magic. As we could iterate of improvement, the Blade Squire. And get a blocker this round. But I'd rather save it for Aloof. Aloof. Hey, you the best. You Hopefully we hit a champ. I dropped everything. Errol. That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good. Luck save us. I'll craft a weapon as a savage. So that thing will be a quick attack challenger for the rest of the game. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Heads with no escape. We'll go ahead and try Sharp Sight. 
Hope it works. It may not, but at least it's two mana for Lux. And so now a concerted strike with Lux will get us a final spark. That's too bad. <clears throat> so now that thing's a 4-4 quick attack challenger the rest of the game. Happy to do whatever's needed. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Eager Apprentice. I'm glad to hear you are so eager. Passing a final spark here even worth it, or just maybe just passing so they don't get to play a champion. Like it just kills that three one. Remember Brins. Yeah, six plus cost spell. We want this to be six mana. We hope we hopefully don't hit Radiant Guardian. Awesome. Could get something else. The power of the written world. Channel our power. <clears throat> Safety first. I'm at thirteen. this. I don't like these blocks. I don't I wouldn't normally want to block these, but I just don't want to take that much damage. So if we go Redeemer, we'll have eight mana next round. Okay, so now we know they have all three blade fragments. Or well no only two blade fragments because they just played a blade, fra blade fragment to give that quick attack. of war. That's 14 damage. I don't really see why I wouldn't play this first. Demacia doesn't need saving. I'm ready to shine. This could be a clutch concerted strike, depending on what happens here. They go like whirling death, whirling death. Okay. It's not so much, but let's go in Flash of Brilliance for three mana. Okay, we're not really doing lethal with back to back. Definitely the Lux. I guess I'm scared of like another Ravenous Flock if I choose the f five to choose these. They'd have to have another Whirling Death. But I guess they have another Flock. They're just killing the same thing again. It kind of feels like they have another Flock how they want to do three damage there, doesn't it, though? But that's actually still just fine. Because then we still have the final Spark. Perfect. We'll take it. So that's great for us. Because now they don't have that that card to kill my Lux. That's Scorched Earth. And their Taric's still going to die. Because if they just... They could have just not not done anything there. They just don't cast the... And so like that's why I was trying to you know bait out another removal spell like that. If they just don't play that, that Scorched Earth and their Taric dies... Yes, but then you know we won't we don't get to cast the final spark. But I guess they wouldn't have done any damage to the Lux. Maybe they needed to do a little bit of damage to the Lux still. Alright, so we looking good, we looking good. Yeah, we're looking great. Lux is good, yep, okay, so they needed to do some damage to the Lux. Alright. 
You got me. Um, I really wanted to just copy the aloof travelers, <laughs> but I guess we should just play our champs. Yeah. All right, one and zero. Caitlyn Vi, Bandle. Man, both of these sound pretty good, but we're, I don't think you can keep two fives, so we'll, we'll keep Lux and send the others back. Because the, um, that Mage Seeker Persuader is really good if you can either have your six mana, you know, card um, remembrance right away, or if you have the timelines, well, I guess you're still going to need the remembrance. Remembrance with timelines. How can I help? Give me chase. Safety first. All right, so no sting officer. So close. Eager apprentice, pretty cool. It's a cool little two drop, especially with concurrent timelines. Track them down. Tough places bring uh -oh. tough people. They got another one. <laughs> one spell. Ava Achieva. On foot. Let's say our deck's kind of been Ava achieving. Hmm. I tried to use an overachieving pun, but that wasn't very good. Time to get my hands dirty. So I guess we'll play Radiant Guardian. Doesn't add up. That L, wait up. How many of those things do they have? I guess they have more than how many sharp sight I have. So the flash, like, you know, this is perfectly fine board, like any of these hit the flash bombs. Oh, enemy traps are doubled. I think we gotta kill that card. I was... Man, I'm planning on playing locks. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then round end, plant three, plant three pop caps. We probably don't want that just to sit there and round end, plant three pop caps all day. You can play that game, but ours is an improvement. What's up, Poppy? Pass, I guess. Just a girl for motorcycle and justice. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Officer J. S. Hopshaw. I wanted to kill the Mage the Conservator. <laughs> Alright, finally killed that thing. But now remember it isn't, you know, six mana anymore as far as Lux and Final Spark is concerned. So I could go Radiant Guardian plus Poppy, or Remembrance plus Iterative Improvement. Virtue guides me. Intel looks good. Affirmative. Ready to breach. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. 
Okay, so it's going to be that card. It's telling me it's that one. I really don't want to discard Iterative Improvement. I don't mind discarding the Eager Apprentice, but I really don't want to discard Iterative Improvement. And it's telling me we're going to keep Iterative Improvement. Alright, good. Singular Will is interesting. You will be scoured from this land. Ready, Hammer? All right, so we get a 5-4 and a 5-6. Yeah, this 5-4 is good, too. Strike for justice. Maybe we hit another Radiant Guardian? Oh, I thought that was another Radiant Guardian, but we'll take another tough unit. Oh. If they chose the concurrent timelines, then timelines would cost three, and so that would be perfect for Lux Final Spark. Is that zero right now? I want to spend three mana worth of spells for Lux. So that'd be like concurrent timelines, iterative improvement. Alright, we're just going to play you. And because that's slow spell, so I'm just going to play that right now. Okay, so now we're going to definitely iterative improvement. I think we'll copy one of these... I don't know, I guess I could copy the Sting Officer, but... Copy one of those. I mean, is it better to shoot Sting Officer than shoot... Caitlyn? No, probably not. Is this Strike Plant 4? It's only Strike Plant 2. Oh! I... I should have played the Vanguard Redeemer first to get rid of... I forgot about the timelines. Uh, well, these aren't very good. That was my bad. I should have played... I should have played this Mage Eagle Persuader first. That's what I should have done, because I didn't really want to play the Redeemer. Because I didn't want to draw a card, but I should have played this Persuader first. Alright, I messed that up. I messed that up. You will be scoured from this land. Huh. Illuminate the enemy. Probably tech two. <laughs> Martin says this has to be the most all-in Kate deck I've ever seen. You and me. It is. It's pretty cool. So we still got 11 flash bombs. Let me get you that <gasps> Why don't I ever think of any of these things? <laughs> I kind of want to give my opponent a couple of pesky specters. Sure, you can have some pesky specters. I am <laughs> the worst concur con <laughs> concurrent timelines player ever. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it.
suit up. <laughs> um, I just, I'm just gonna get a card out of my hand. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. Take some pesky specters. I hope they draw one. All right, so don't have very many flash bombs left. We only have 12 cards left. All right, now I'll be able to strike and, and <laughs> grant darkness everywhere. Because, of course, I don't want to play Redeemer. I don't want to play Aloof Travelers. I don't want to play any of these, these things that draw cards. Um, yeah, my spells are at 0 out of 6 right now. We'll go ahead and play this. Basically, to get Lux back into the deck. Because Lux has no flash bombs or anything like that. You know, like we want... I want other Lux in the deck. All right, team. Adventure time. All right, team. Uh oh. That is okay. I guess I'm at twenty. <laughs> I just realized. I guess we have had like a million life steal units. Ooh. Give it all. Well, we kind of have to play give it all, right? I only have two flash bombs left. Cause I shouldn't be able to. Yeah, like they can't play. They can't play that thing. I can't. I shouldn't be able to mill out. And see, now we're buffing up Poppy to be the same as the others. Now Poppy can buff him up some more. <laughs> they drew the, the Pesky Spectre. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess this doesn't kill you. Let's kill you. <laughs> I drew them both. Oh, crazy. All right. They're like trying to mill me out, but I I I did this the pesky specter line, so let me put more pesky specters back into my deck so they can't mill us out. <laughs> oh there yeah, there's no more lifesteal possible in the, these regions, yeah. That was a lot of Dude, right? Mage Seer and Servitor does make give it all all the time, but that card's been awesome for us, both last last deck and this deck. That card's been awesome. Sejuani Swain? What? How are we supposed to beat Sejuani Swain? I guess we keep one concerted strike against Sejuani Swain, I guess? I don't know, maybe we're, maybe we're supposed to keep both of them. Because we're going to have, like, round three Remembrance, round four Poppy. Poppy. And then... I don't know what's after that. Raining Guardian, I guess. In third strike. In position. See, this is the other cool part about Eager Apprentice. It still keeps you online for round three Remembrance, even with playing it. So Eager Apprentice, pretty good. Now we got our six plus cost spell. Five, five, tough. Oh no, Raining Guardian, the only one that's a bad hit. I'll pass, I'm not scared. Aloof just takes out the Leviathan. We can wait till later for that. Oh, Clav, yeah, we just played against you? Yeah, those Radiant Guardians were so clutch for us. That whole time. That was that was a great game. People in chat said that was a lot of fun. I I kept on completely messing up with concurrent timelines. <laughs> but yeah, that was a great game. 
Alright, so we just trade everything. We have five cards, they have three, but we have taken seven damage. Uh, so now we aloof. You dropped something. I dropped everything! Captain Baron. Uh oh. That card's scary. Leave them nothing. Search little lives. Denounce magic. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. All right, so that levels up Swain. But Swain still only has four health after that. So we can, you know, hopefully challenge here. Trade. Tradesies? Yes. Now Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian, save the day, please. Please save the day. We're we gonna have next round eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll still have ten mana. Take That's cool. a look at this. Hello. Oh, I can't wait. Huh. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Avalanche. I thought for sure we we're getting Leviathan right there. And I was like trying to count out how I was gonna be considered strike killing this Leviathan that they're about to get. I will end this here. Expecting transfusion. We saw transfusion earlier. Troll chant. Well, that's worse. Well, that's even worse. Alright, so let's... Strike, strike. That, we go to eight. It's like not even that great, but... They kind of have nothing left. Yeah, we're not going to be able to, like, Redeemer and Radiant Guardian, most likely. Let's let's just go and see what we got. A Remembrance, eh? Nothing escapes my notice. Let's see what you can do. Probably should have done that first. Remember the objective. Let's be down to five. For the glory of Noxus. Uh. So this could give everything quick attack. Um, this doesn't take any damage. This is a, so this would be a three three. Everything gets quick attack. So we either take a 4-5 Challenger or a 3-3 three, three Quick Attack that also gives everything else Quick Attack. I guess we want the 4-5. The the Six damage on there. Woo! All right, back to ten. Definitely feel better about being at ten. Let the light guide you. We need more life. More life? What do they have? Oh, that card. I 
That makes sense. I guess Joel Hunters. I don't know, it's a challenger. Yeah, we don't want them to get that easy overwhelm. Oh, the frost white. Make the Empire Bristle, attack. Oh. Hold back the darkness. Just saves the most life possible. I'm really surprised that 2-3 attacked and they let me uh, kill that. I'm really surprised they did that. You know, let me kill the Mage, the Mage Seeker Conservator. Man, aloof is good. But I should open attack. You will be scoured from this land. Where are you off to? Hmm. Adwani, you're killing me, Smalls. All right, so we, we can make a final spark. Ooh, lucky find. Wait, Funsmith? Lucky find, Funsmith. Lucky find, Funsmith. We'll do lucky find. Oh, wait, we don't get either one. Oh, I should have done Funsmith. Right, we don't get the lucky find. Okay, good. So this is... So we can play this now. So I can save the, um, yeah, I should have taken the Funsmith. Man, we would have had lethal if I would have taken Funsmith, right? Because it would have been 5 and 5. Yeah, we would have lethal if I would have taken Funsmith and kill him, like, killed it. Kill him both of these. I killed that and then killed that. Yeah, but I should have taken Funsmith. <laughs> yeah, chat was telling me to. Should have looked at chat. Alright, so I don't want to die to Decimate, right? So we're just going to do this. I should have had lethal... Right? Would have been lethal? No, maybe not. Two. No, actually, we're one. We were one off. Never mind. We would put them down to one because we would have dealt two extra damage, so they would have been at one. Okay, not lethal. That's a great draw. Probably. I didn't want them to be able to attack with that thing. I don't know. I guess so. Could also go to the next round, but if this is like Noxion fervor. Like, if that's Sejuani now, we lose, but you wouldn't think they would just hold on to Sejuani, though, right? Because they wouldn't just hold go to the next round to Sejuani. Alright, GG's! Yeah, Radiant Guardian not elite, doesn't get buffed. Sad. Man, we have had some ridiculously close and fun games. GG's. Zareth Zillion. The Landmark deck. Only if iterative improvement made exact. This is like a really good Luxian. If only iterative improvement made an exact copy, and so we could like exact copy their the arsenal. Hello. So we got round three remembrance. Round five, we have Lux plus level up. Doesn't happen too often. Lux plus level up round five. Ooh, but that would, that would mean I would play nothing on three, though. Hmm. So basically, if we play Poppy, then we don't get to level up Lux the next round. But if we don't play Poppy, we could level up Lux. Dude, round three screeching dragon is busted. Uh, excuse me. You didn't hear me? You said round three screeching dragon is busted. Last buys me a new sale. Why do you always need a new sale? Maybe Rockhopper just really likes to shop. 
You know, real likes to like buy clothes and stuff. You know, he's always looking for that that next sale. Oh, Rock Hopper is his secret online shopper. I kind of want to. Man, I want to play Poppy, but I also kind of want to just pass. All right, it's Poppy. Today's the day. Let's just go and do this right away. Before they play like something else that blocks Poppy, or before they, you know, Hexplosive Minefield, you know, like the kill this, do four, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like stun the dragon, do four to the Poppy. Yeah, yeah, I know he means S A I L sale, <laughs> but that'd be funny if he was talking about. It's like secretly he actually wants S A. He needs more S A L E sales. Is so that's gonna do three damage. Redoubled Valor? How have we never played a Valor Redoubled Valor deck? <laughs> it's a, a Quinn deck built around Redoubled Valors. No, I don't have Netflix right now, so I didn't get to watch Arcane, but I've heard really good things about it. Everybody like in Discord, everything everybody says it's really good. Well, I haven't been able to see it, unfortunately. This Hextech Transmogulator is going to come in clutch. So they challenge there, and they're like, Look at this, my rock bear is going to do all this cool stuff. And I'm like, nope. We'll transform that rock bear into a generic 2-1. Because we tur could turn into a 2-4. Oh, yeah, Redel Valor is unfortunately slow. It would be nice to play right now, but that's slow speed. So tra transform into this. All right, let's just make double, triple double check. All right, always get a triple double check. We shall kill the Zareth once and for all. Once and for all, we're four zero. We're even going to be able to take out the arsenal with Aloof Travelers. Before now. Alright. Timeline Travelers. Another one that is just overperforming. So we're going to be taking it on over to Ranked. Give it another test over there. These Mage Seeker Conservator Lux decks. Looking good. 9-0 with these different Lux decks today. Let's see if we can finish out... The 5-0, keep the 5-0 dream alive. Looks like we're facing another Poppy deck. Poppy Taric. Concerted Strike does sound good against Poppy. And Taric, you know, like we want to kill it, but we need to be able to play some other units. We could iterate of improvement our own Eager Apprentice, I suppose. We just have a 1-mana 3-2. I guess we could do that. We could play a 1-mana 3-2. Recite, protect me. Drag them down. Okay, yeah, chat saying Arcane's very, very good. Happy to do whatever's needed. No, we can't play both. Alright, so let's let's just attack. Yeah, I was kinda expecting. Uh, protege, and so you know I don't want to just play these other things. And then they protege. So if I block, or if I sorry, if I copy protege, we get the three five. Like that's not bad. 
I think I kind of want to use that. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. I bring clarity. Man, their hand looks good. Like this is this is the setup you want. Attacking round four with Tarek, copying spell over to Protege. That's just the setup you want. Yeah, double draw. All right, team, adventure time. Good draw. Drag them down. Fade and be gone. The mountain endures. Really hope this works. They need another single combat. I hope they don't have it. Awesome! They do not. They do not have another single combat. How about that? Five and zero. Oh. Wow. Two back to back five O's with these Mage Seeker Lux decks. With Mage Seeker Conservator, Mage Seeker Persuader, and Lux. Crazy. Remembrance has been awesome in all these games. Um, this was pretty cool. Flash of Brilliance really overperformed. This card looked awesome with Lux of, you know, just you know get get your three spell mana to get towards that Lux level up. That was awesome. And then we were just making random spells that were definitely helpful in different scenarios. Eager Apprentice looked really good, refilling the two spell mana, being a, just a free unit to be able to get in play for like your remembrance and stuff. That was that card looked good. Um, this deck just felt you know, just pretty fun. This is a fun one to play. I wouldn't expect this to be, like, super, super competitive, of course. You know, like, we're playing meme tier decks here, right? Like, I wouldn't say either of these two decks that we just went 5-0 with are going to be ones that I think you'll have, like, lots of wins with on ranked. But I think you could see just, like, some really good stuff to do. Kind of some good combination of cards. Radiant Guardian was completely insane, like usual. Like, the lifesteal was just awesome. And the tough was awesome. So, yeah, Radiant Guardian, super strong. The Concerted Strikes looked good. Nice little deck. And then you have the Mage Seer Conservator is also making those random spells. Those random six plus cost spells from the Conservator and the Flash of Brilliance, those definitely looked good. Concurrent timelines didn't look that good, but also I was like, you know, we only played timelines just a couple of times. And the one time it was, I, I just made like the worst decisions ever with timelines. So you kind of, you know, it's kind of my fault, not really concurrent timelines fault. But, uh,. <laughs> yeah, like Martin Thomas says. So Jace Lux Mage Seekers with Flash of Brilliance. <laughs> Take note. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Flash of Brilliance could, could help out there. All right, but that's going to be it for Timeline Travelers. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these decks if you're enjoying them. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of Jace. And we have the uh, brand new uh, mode Path of Champions. We're going to have to get used to that one. Path of Champions coming up. Let me know. Uh, how y'all are uh, liking that. I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it for sure. Gonna be doing that right away. Yeah, right puppy? Path of Champions. Puppy super pumped about Path of Champions coming out and Jace and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, leave those comments down below. I appreciate it. And of course, always appreciate y'all for watching. So does Puppy. Puppy says, thank you for watching. She's waving y'all goodbye. And we will see y'all for the next video.